This is a Zuni belt by artist Dennis and Nancy Adaki. It's a channel inlay belt, meaning that they have cut the first layer of silver out, all this design, with a very small coping saw, tiny little blades. And then they solder it onto another layer, which leaves a recess. They then get these stones, this is coral and abalone Sleeping Beauty turquoise. They inlay that, cut it on on grinding wheels, lapidary equipment, and inlay it into the piece to create a cloisonné type of look. You see it's all very labor intensive, much more detailed than just the words can say because there's so much time and effort in cutting all this design out and then soldering it well enough over the piece without pulling the solder up into the very small areas which doesn't allow you then to inlay these very small stones into that recess. Dennis and Nancy are known for their incredibly detailed work. You see hummingbirds where they use abalone to set off the very very uh, bold colors that the hummingbirds produce and the flowers so there you see more coral here abalone this is jet which is a form of petrified wood very basically lignite that's formed at the bottom uh, wood sinking to the bottom of water bodies and then after millennium turning into a form of coal but they use mother of pearl there's a little bit of lapis in these pieces you can see the incredible detail. They're very thick. If you look on the back, they've soldered copper loops on there, and not just one, but two, to keep the strength and the form on the back of the belt. So there, and you can adjust these belts actually to fit. But they have. Let's see. Here's a. This is a cardinal, a hummingbird. You see a quail, a robin, there's a road runner here, an owl, a mountain jay, mountain bluebird, a snowy owl, a pheasant, this is a little cactus wren, and then they have these little butterfly pieces in the middle to set them off. All in all, it's a gorgeous belt, very well made. It was produced in the mid-80s by Dennis and Nancy Adaki.